Hello, friends. Welcome to Squared Plans, where creative planning and organization comes to life. I'm Stephanie, and today we're going to be going through my 2023 health planner. I'll be showing you guys all of my completed after the pen spreads for the entire year from January through December, and hopefully give you guys some ideas for your own health planner, wellness planner, fitness planner, whatever you like to call it. So if that sounds good, let's jump in. So when I go to archive my planners at the end of the year, I like to put them on these one inch clear plastic discs and I will be replacing out the cover eventually, but this was the cover I used all of 2023. So it's just a happy planner cover from an older happy planner I had that I reuse. I like to reuse them since most of the pages in here will be printables from my Etsy shop. And I will say that certain ones of these discs stick a little bit more so sorry if there's a lot of sticking as we go through this flip through it's great for archiving because you know you're not flipping through all the time but yeah it is a little bit annoying so we'll see how this goes um, at the front i went ahead and put in my annual tracker which i was tracking my weight and steps every day it's just a perpetual calendar from my shop but we will keep that hidden and paper clip together all right, so we have my first month of January and for January, I'm going to go ahead and explain a little bit about how I plan in these. And then once we hit February, I'll just be thumbing through them so you can see how they turned out. So for the very first month of January, I ended up using my monthly layout for tracking my workouts. I really went minimal on this because I didn't like how full the previous year was. So I'm just tracking and then I highlighted the ones that I actually did a workout. And then the other ones were just, you know, notes about maybe why I didn't work out or rest days, things like that. I had a plan that I was going to do a lower body and upper body strength training workout every other day. And as you can see, I did not follow it to a T, although I did try at the beginning of January. Um, I ended up tweaking my back first thing, first week of January. So that put a big damper on things. But anyway, so that's how I used it. For the most part, I used it consistently, the monthly layout for tracking workouts. Um, but I start adding in more things as the year goes through. And as those come up, I'll explain. So the next spread in my health planner is what is called the health overview layout in my shop. It's an add-on layout that you can add to your health planner. For this one, I try to use the health goals area up here for the most part for health goals. They were more like health suggestions <laughs> as we get later and later through the year. I have my habit trackers here on the side. I was used consistently throughout the year, usually tracking steps if I close my Apple Watch rings. Um, my calorie intake and eating clean, those two would vary depending on the month, but those two are the top two were the ones that were more consistent. I struggled with how to use this checkbox area here for the year. Uh, I tried to do some to do's health to do's here for this first month. Um, but as we go through, I do end up finding something that I kind of liked for this area, but as a whole, it was a little bit of a struggle for me for utilizing this spot. There's some dot grid down below, so I put some decor in there. And over here on this side is where I track my starting weight and body fat percentage at the beginning of the month. And then I have a little cheat sheet guy here to do my measurements, my body measurements. Uh, again, we're just going to keep those covered. I've also got here at the end of the month where I would do my monthly stat totals and I have the stats that I end up tracking here every month. Uh, again, from my Apple Watch, I get the monthly totals and then the daily averages and then I compare those to the month before and see if they've been up or down. And finally at the bottom, I use this area for health review check-in. I try to see how I was successful with my health, what didn't go well, what I can do differently and how I was feeling, what I was motivated by, and then um, what I'm gonna focus on for the next month. And as you can see, I'm going to have all of the monthly pages themed out in a similar 
theme or color scheme. So you'll see that these monthly pages all match each month. Just makes it easier to set it all up at once and kind of have a similar look and feel. So for my weeklies, what I do is this aligned vertical layout. This one is the lined top box layout from my shop. And then what I did was I added a customized area here for a hydration tracker. I have a health layout in my shop, which I use for many years. And I really wanted that hydration tracker that's from that insert in my planner for 2023. So I just went ahead and added it in and printed it with the hydration and that worked out really nice. On these weekly pages, what I usually track is my food log. So you'll see a food log for each day along with the total calories for some weeks and some months. And then I kind of changed my formatting there for my food a little later. I also have my workouts usually, and I like to track not only the workout, but how long I did the workout and then how many calories were burned in that workout. So I'll put that information at the top. I also, in my sidebar, sometimes will put motivational stuff or just things to think about for the week. And then at the very bottom, I have my health stats, which I usually make my own little health stat stickers and then print them off and stick them down to coordinate with whatever theme I did for the week. So that's the main stuff here that you're going to see. So I'll just go ahead and flip through and show you how these weeks turned out. This one was a really fun one. It was nice and bright. The next week, I think these were actually, some of these were going to be planable challenges back when we were doing the themed challenges. So I want to say this one was maybe happy hour or something similar. So I thought this would be a fun one, kind of celebratory New Year's kind of thing. And love the colors on this. It's really like tropical color scheme was really fun and energizing. This one too was really cool. I really loved the diagonal washi. I had got that idea from Pretty Plans. I think that's what her handle is over on Instagram and fell in love with that. I also did my little washi layering thing, which was um, very cool. I enjoyed that. And if you guys want to know more about any of the individual layouts that, you know, like whatever stickers I used or that kind of thing, I did do plan with me's on most of these layouts. So hopefully you'll be able to find it in there. If not, I can see if I can guide you to a link. If it does exist, if it doesn't exist, I might be able to tell you um, just from memory, but we'll see. <laughs> so this was how the next week turned out. Love this woodland theme. So fun and uh, perfect for this kind of wintry time frame. And then at the back of each month, you're going to see this meds and supplements tracker. And it is horizontal, but I made a vertical one this year, which I'm really excited about. So I don't have to keep doing this when I fill it out, but I do love it. It's very useful. I track my meds and supplements as it says. So at the top, I have my meds and I had my supplements below. And then I also started tracking my symptoms, which I thought was really, really good. <laughs> um, Cause I was trying to write out how each day was with my chronic allergies and asthma symptoms. And that's what made the monthly messy before. So I went to this chart-like format. This worked out so much better. I continue that throughout the entire year. So I got meds, supplements, and my symptoms all there on the one chart. And this is available in my shop too as well if you're looking for something like that for your planner. Okay, so next we're going to get into February, and like I said, they're pretty much going to be all the same. If I see something that is different, I'll call it out, but for the most part, I'll just flip through so you can just see how everything turned out. Here is the monthly. Started off on my weight training again. And then here is the overview pages. Once again, kind of struggling to find a use for this area. Then we have the first week here, which this one was a planning thing theme from her Amsterdam book. This one turned out really cute, I thought. 
Next we have one with, I think, Anna Bean stickers, if I'm not mistaken. This one was also really cute, kind of a color scheme spread. This one here was definitely a plantable challenge theme for Valentine's Day, but I cannot remember what it was. But I really liked how this turned out, something different with the vintage paper in the background. Ooh, this one was fun too. Uh, I ended up making little bricks out of a sticker strip, something new and different I hadn't tried before. And yeah, I think that turned out really fun. And then again, I have my meds and supplements here at the back. So next we'll go into March. And again, March will be themed out in a similar way. Got the diagonal washi being brought back in because I really liked how that looked before. And then again on these pages. And we have the first week. This one was a nice rainbow spread. Simple, but really clean. This one was also really fun. This was like a kind of blue tone floral spread. I don't really like gold because sometimes it's hard to see, but this one turned out okay, I thought. It was very vibrant in certain light, so it did work out. Like right now, it's it's like glowing almost, which was kind of cool. Next we have, this was a plantable challenge as well. I want to say this had something to do with, oh, Pi Day. I think that's what it was. Um, since Pi Day is March 14th, 3.14. <laughs> and so I ended up doing a literal pie theme. And again, really fun. Had some fun with the um, inks on this one. And then we have the next one, which again, I think might have been a plantable challenge theme, but I cannot remember what it was. Maybe something about create, getting creative for the month, because it's, I think, creativity month. Um, and a rainbow theme, which again, I really love. And this one was probably a plantable challenge too. When I end up using stickers that I don't normally use, it's usually a plantable challenge. Oh, I think this was for April Fool's Day. So I thought that would be kind of fun. Again, kind of brought in some rainbow, brought in a diagonal, too cute. And then the meds and supplements at the back. So now we're into April. And then for April, same kind of monthly layout, themed out the monthly. The overview pages as well. Here's the first weekly. This one, I liked the idea of it and the rainbow, but again, I used silver. So at the wrong light, I just, you can't see any of the silver if you're looking at it from my angle. So yeah, that kind of bugged me. But otherwise, <laughs> it was a really good theme. Just a precautionary tale if you like, if you want to use metals in your planner, <laughs> that's just how I feel about it. <laughs> This one was a really fun one. It really turned out nice too. Just a mix of different florals from I think the Happy Planner and the Watch Tape Shop, but loved how it turned out. And we've got this one, which I think I, I did not have a plan with me on if I remember correctly, but really liked this blue and orange kind of contrasting color scheme. It's really pretty. This one, I want to say was maybe up in the air was the theme. It was a plantable challenge. This one turned out really cute. Here, I think is when I started to track my fasting. Yeah, so started to change from doing like um, calorie tracking and things like that and started to try to increase my fasting hours to a one meal a day fasting schedule. And it was very successful in the very beginning. I still do it, but I feel like I lost the most weight that very first couple of weeks. And then I think I just started eating more. And so I counteracted all that, that goodness <laughs> that I was getting. So trying to figure it out here for 2024, but I was tracking the fasting hours and the weekly here, but I think I end up moving that to the monthly, uh, maybe on the next one. 
And again, my meds and supplements just kind of color schemed it to the monthly pages. And we're on to May. Yeah, so this is where I started adding those fasting hours, trying to figure a good place to add them in on my health planner since it was something new. So what I ended up doing is writing them down on the bottom of the box. And I pretty much do that for the rest of the year because I couldn't figure out a better way to do it that was cleaner. And then I also started adding in at the top any major symptoms I was having for my chronic issues that I could just see at a glance, like not the individual symptoms, but if there was something big and glaring for the day, I would write it in, as well as my workouts. And then we had the health goals for May and uh, the rest of the overview as well. I liked this vegetable theme. I thought this turned out really cute. And next we have the, uh, this one. <laughs> I don't remember if this was a challenge or anything, but I did like this color scheme a lot. I've really done a few pretty ones with the green or teal tones and like peach and pink tones. A really good color combination. Oh, this one was fun too. This one was like a cactus desert theme, but softer. I kind of brought in some softer colors and really liked how this one turned out as well. This one was for my birthday, so I went full rainbow because bright colors make me happy, especially in my health planner. Really liked having these kind of word stickers on their side. I just thought that that gave it a fresh look and I had very little birthday stickers to work with, so that really helped make it more interesting, I thought. And then this one was definitely a, another challenge theme. I'm not going to remember what it was. Maybe garden party. That's the one I'm thinking it is. And then uh, I made this trellis style theme, which I thought turned out really cool. Took me a little while to figure out how to make it look good. But I think at the end, it really turned out awesome. So really good theme, I thought. And then some more veggies there on the medical supplements tracker. Okay, we're into June, let's go. And this one, I started to pull in some fun pineapples and some bright colors. I tried to make this neater. <laughs> I got a little bit better with the highlighted fasting hours, but it still was kind of messy for me, I thought. Better, but not the best. So next we have the health overview, again, themed out with those kind of fun pineapple-y colors. And then we have a donut day. I always know when <laughs> it's donut day in my spreads. This one was great. Somebody actually who knows me and knows that I love donut day um, sent me her sheet of donut stickers from an older Happy Planner food sticker book. So I was super excited because I was totally fresh out of donut stickers and loved how this turned out. The color scheme was really fun too, and I loved the washy blending that I did. This one was fun to make, but did not quite turn out how I had hoped. It got a little, I don't know, roughed up here at the on the edge. I don't know what happened, but this one was a fun one. It was, I think, maybe under the sea or something like that. I actually used some watercolor on this. I don't remember why I did that, but that's how it turned out. And then this one, I decided to play around with some kind of a vintage collage theme and even did some stamping. This one really turned out pretty cool, I thought, for like a vintage theme. And then this one was just a fun one. I wanted to play around with some like workout stickers but also some beachy feels feel like this was maybe also a planable challenge but loved the rainbows um yeah i probably would do rainbow spreads if i had the stickers every week in my health planner because it really just helps get that energy going this one was fun too and maybe something about popsicles do not remember <laughs> It was so long ago, um, but 
I, this one was fun too. Nice three color scheme. Then the end of the month there. And next we're into July. So halfway through guys. So this one was a fun one. Um, I did very minimal as you can see on decor. Sticking with just the functionality. If you've never seen this hack, this is a really cool little hack to help extend those extra days that occasionally fall in longer months. You just kind of stick a piece of paper down and then at the same size as the box and then fold it on a diagonal and it gives you two full boxes to work with. So had I had a workout for the 31st and the 30th, this would have looked a little bit cooler, but <laughs> for now you get the idea of what that was used for. And tracking all the same things. So here I have the uh, same setup with the overview. I started this little like bonus points area here and this is what ended up really working out for me. I got this idea from a subscriber. She mentioned maybe doing something where you know your small wins because I was struggling a little bit to stay consistent with my workouts and started with this bonus points um, thing where it was basically small wins for myself that I could say I did something for my health that day if I didn't do something bigger like a full workout or something like that. So that's how it started and then you'll see those throughout as we go. I added things to it and kind of customized it for my own needs and what I think would be a small win for me. Everything else is pretty much the same. Um, I do, like I said, change these ones a little bit more frequently. So I started adding my fasting hours and work out there. And I cut down these um, sticky so you can get a little bit of a better idea of what this looks like underneath those sticky notes. But basically there's a little guy there and then arms, chest, weight, all those different things. And then my notes or my, my numbers there. This was a fun coffee theme. I think I just wanted to use some more of the vintage stickers that I got. Again, using more foiled stickers, which are just glowing at this angle where I'm seeing them, but you're probably just seeing brown. So you can, ooh, there you go. This flash at you. <laughs> so again, metallics, <laughs> love or hate, <laughs> just depends. Anyway, this one was uh, very different than what I normally did, but it was a really fun one to kind of work out and work through. Then we've got this one, which was a summer theme. Did some washi layering and I thought that turned out pretty bright, pretty fun. This one was for Comic-Con, I believe. And yeah, I had planned on doing a plan with me on this, but I ended up not really liking it in the end. So I don't think there's a plan with me, but I love the idea of it, I just don't like how I executed it. <laughs> um, but kind of like a comic book, Metropolis or Gotham, you know what I mean? That's what I was going for. So that's how that turned out. Oh, this one was a fun one with some tropical vibes, very summery, also a rainbow or gradient more like, but almost a rainbow here, which again, I really love. And then my meds and supplements tracker at the end. So next we're into August. This one, I put a little more effort into the theme, added some more colors and some stickers. Added a little bit to my bonus points list. And I feel like I was doing a little bit better at this time of the year as far as consistency. And everything else is pretty much the same. This one was fun. I've done this a couple of times where they had the little animal stickers and added in workout things for them. I think that just makes them so much cuter. So did that. This was a little bit rough at the top. I was kind of going for more of an art deco vibe, but yeah. <laughs> Some aspects could be better. This one was cute. This one, I think I used a wild, maybe a one book sticker spread. And this one was, it was a little bit soft for my health planner, but I still liked it. The purple and the brown combination was really nice. 
Ooh, this one was fun. I did a watermelon theme, added some brightness with the yellow to kind of blend in the backgrounds of those stickers. Just trying to use my stash, it's turned out good. And these were some stickers I think I got off of Amazon. And I did some planters, which I thought actually turned out really cool. And then added a spot for my workouts in there. So some of these take a little while to figure out in the plan with me's, but it's fun to try new things and just see what works. And this one, I used some acrylic markers I had just picked up as well as some Amazon stickers. This one was just super fun to try and play around with those acrylic markers and they just kind of sit on the paper. They don't sink in, but they're so vibrant. So this was awesome. I got to remember to pull those out again this year because I kind of forgot about them. <laughs> they were really fun. And then we have again, the Myth and Supplements Tracker. So now we're into September. And this one, I went all out on the decor. As you can see, <laughs> it's very coffee vibe themed. Um, and mainly with these like stamp stickers that I had recently got on like a washi roll. Very busy, <laughs> but lots to look at. This is a little bit more subdued. I like this spread a lot better even though it's the same theme and again basically the same information on on these so here's that first week in september and this one i think i used a happy planner sticker book which i won't remember the name of but pulled in some scrapbook paper and uh yeah this one was really fun and this one was also good uh, I love a good gradient, so I try to use those apples in a gradient fashion. Simple, but clean, and again, those gradients. This one was a kind of a throwback to one I did before with this kind of banner washi. Loved how it turned out, and so I thought I should bring that back again for the spread. I also did some blending which has been one of my new favorite things this year. I started doing that and I just love how they all turned out, like just the colors and everything. So loved, loved that idea. Ooh, and this one was, I think for coffee day and I really loved this. Um, I love coffee and I love donuts. So <laughs> um, those are two things you can know about me. And I added these coffee rings I can't remember how I did it though. I think I used ink instead of actual coffee on this one and made it more like a watercolor. Yeah, that turned out okay, but I think the cup I used wasn't quite wasn't quite enough. So I ended up going back and trying to beef them up a little. But the overall look and feel I just really fell in love with. And then more coffee overload over here. And now we're into October. And this one I did decorate all those monthly pages, but this purple was not my favorite. I don't know what I thought would I would like about all this purple, but in the end I was like not happy <laughs> with the purple. <laughs> but yeah, it was it was decorated, so that's I guess one good thing. This one here, I believe I ended up doing a bright kind of fun theme because I was doing so many fall planner spreads. I just needed a little bit of a break. So I just broke out some very happy planner style stickers. So they're very bright and I put those in and again, kind of a rainbow theme to help energize me. This one here was a fun one. I experimented with them. Um, some torn paper at the bottom and did some layering to create a scene. This one turned out really good. I think I was inspired by somebody on Instagram who did like maybe a mountain theme and I thought, oh, I could probably do that with the, uh, a fall hills theme. So that's how that turned out. And then this one was using some Amazon stickers I've gotten in my haul, these mushrooms and 
honestly, this was one of my favorites of the year. I don't know why, even though it's not bright and fun. It, I mean, it is fun, but it's not very bright. It's very earthy, but I just love how it turned out in the end. It, it was a really good one. And then this one was a nice collage one. Again, added some blending of inks and stuff to add some texture in the background. A simple gradient of tones to kind of help to bring this one together. Oh, and I had ripped the page there, so well, it got a little torn. I think I was too full in my planner. Um, and here's the last page there with the Mezza supplements and a lot of purple. So now we're into November. And November, I decided to do this kind of like meal prep kitchen theme uh, with some washi tape stickers I had. This one was okay. I was thinking more like, you know, Thanksgiving style, but it was mm, not, not that great, honestly, as a theme. Just throwing things together, trying to make it work. I do like this green tone now. It was a nice color. And then this one here was for, yeah, Halloween was on Tuesday. I don't do Halloween spreads. So I thought I would do kind of like a fall spread, but at night to tie it in, but not tie it in, you know what I'm saying? So I, I did this one, played around with, again, more blending inks. I think it turned out pretty good. Maybe this sticker I, I might have changed, but overall I think it, it did turn out pretty well. And this one was, again, another one that I really liked this year. Back to those like pink and green combinations. Um, this one was more of a pink and teal tone, but just had this random page of self-care stickers, I think in the Bright Travels Happy Planner sticker book and used that as a kind of like a ledge of self-care. And that really, that was really good. I really loved how this turned out. And this one, I just threw some botanicals at it and some gradient washi called it a day tried to vary where I was placing the stickers so that one was good it wasn't like a fave but it was it was good and then this one was for Thanksgiving week I decided to do a somewhat transitional spread going from like fall tones over here into like holiday tones with Thanksgiving being the crossover that worked out really well using some plenty things stickers And then this one was just like a simple holiday spread using some stickers I had from the little Happy Planner mostly. And again, the last page there with the theme. And then for December's theme, I did like a snowy blue theme with these little snowmen. That turned out pretty cute actually. Kind of chill. I liked how this one turned out, even though there's a lot of blue. I liked it a lot better than the purple, for sure. So this one was a fun one. This was a cookie theme, and I had a cookie exchange party. Not I wasn't hosting, somebody else was hosting, so I thought it'd be fun to do a cookie theme this week, and loved how fun and busy this one was. Wanted to love this one so much. I really love these little puffy, like realistic felt stickers, even though they're not, you know, I mean, they're just stickers, but they look really realistic. Um, I love these stickers from Anna Bean, but I just did not like how I executed this spread. So there's no plan with me on it. <laughs> you didn't miss anything about me struggling. So. And then this one, I really liked how it turned out, even though it was pretty simple. Again, rainbow theme. I did use some silver, so I can't see anything in the silver at my angle. <laughs> Again, just a pet peeve of mine. But overall, I thought this one turned out really fun. And then the last spread of the year was for the New Year holiday. And I did a simple black and gold theme. This one turned out really good. And the final page there for the year. 
And that is it, friends. My entire health planner for 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. Also, too, go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch. And think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Bye.